So I want to show you how to uh, check the wires for this is a, a camshaft position sensor. It's easy to identify this camshaft position sensor. It's on the top with the camshaft's going to be rotating. And the first thing you notice is a three wire. And the first thing that comes to mind, because you have two wires, three wires, when it's a three wire, typically it's the Hall Effect type. You're going to have a five volt reference. And then you're going to have the, uh... no, my bad. You're going to have the 12 volts of the ground and then the signal. So we want to identify the signal wire without looking at a wiring diagram. And this one's pretty easy, but uh, I'll just show you using a, a DVOM. So you hook up a negative lead to a, a ground, and then positive lead you always want to check. Go to a battery. Battery's a little bit low, 12.2. And so what we want to do is go through the three different wires and we want to identify which one's the signal wire. We'll start with the black. Back probe it. 27, you, don't, you can't see it real well, but it says millivolts. So under 100 millivolts for a sensor ground. It means it's a good ground. All right. And then we'll go to this one. And you got about battery voltage there, a little bit lower. Here's battery voltage. And this is the uh, the 12 volt feed. And so you got the ground, unless that would be a, that's either a, a, a sensor ground. And then, so we're thinking this is the signal wire. 12 volts, 10 volts, I mean. Ten volts. So 12 volt feed, ground, and then the signal volt, uh, signal wire. So we're pretty much sure we checked with this that that's the uh, the signal. And that's just caught in the area where it's uh it's switching the transistor, or I mean uh, switching the hall effect. So we just want to verify that that is our signal. I'm going to start the car. <clears throat> I hook my scope up. One thing we want to do with the uh, the scope lead also, we'll check that against. Uh, see that? That's battery voltage. Make sure that's working properly because you can have a bad ground on the on the scope itself. So you see that's good. So we're gonna hook this up to what we think is the signal wire. <clears throat> and keep it right here. I'm gonna start the vehicle. See if it is the signal wire. And we want to see a little more detail. We could, on this one, we could pause it and then uh, zoom in. This is a Nissan. This is a 04 Nissan Sentra. So this is what the uh, camshaft position sensor looks like. So. to block out some of it. So we were correct in what we said. That's the signal wire. This would be a pull-up design, meaning the sensor itself produces the, uh, the waveform, the uh, it produces that square waves and sig sends it to the computer. Pull up design. Yeah. 
and drive it a little bit. Just a little bit. You see the frequency change. You'll notice the frequency. This is at idle. Rev it a little bit. Frequency increases the amount of times that it's, uh, <clears throat> it increases because of the uh, RPM. There you stop. So that there is a known good camshaft position for a Nissan Sentra 04. So it goes one and then it starts again. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, and then one. And then it starts all over again. It starts all over again over here. It goes to the one and then it goes to one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then two. I wish I, I don't really have access to the uh, crankshaft position sensor. If I had more time, I'd be able to get it. I gotta go somewhere though today. So, but uh, I just wanted to show you how to easy, easily identify the signal wire. And we, uh, we verified it's the signal wire by hooking it up. Also what you can do, what you be, would be able to do is, uh, you saw the 10 volts. You saw the 10 volts that we had on the DVOM when we hooked up to the signal wire, what we suspected was a signal wire. If we would have disconnected the connector at that time, you would have seen the, the voltage drop on the, uh, you would have seen the voltage drop on the DVOM from 10 volts to zero volts because it's a full up design. It sends the signal to the computer and that's what you would have seen. So this is a known good cam yeah, camshaft position signal waveform for a 2004 Nissan Sentra. Nissan Sentra 1.8. One, three, four, two. One, three, four, two. It just can continually repeats itself. Maybe if I get a chance to mess with this vehicle a little bit more later on, the first owner of the vehicle has got a doesn't have a lot of time to spend, so.